Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler in for Paul Legrone this half hour. First at 530, back to back days of violence at a Pasco County High School that's had trouble before. It has parents asking what is being done to keep their kids safe. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler went to 5A High School in Hudson to get those answers. Unfortunately, the bad's kind of outweighing the good right now. Today, there is an honor roll celebration going on at 5A High School, along with a weightlifting meet. But fights the last couple of days and an intentionally set bathroom fire has parents worried once again. At this point, honestly, I'm real close to pulling my child out and homeschooling her yeah. so that I know that she's safe. We reported on excessive fighting at 5A High School in September and October. That led the principal to announce a new set of rules. We will not tolerate this violent and disruptive behavior. But there was more of that behavior this week, leading to more law enforcement watching over the school today. Um, the principal is making a very clear statement that if you're coming to school and you're going to fight, you're not going to be going to the school anymore. We are going to take care of the problem. The students involved in this week's fights are facing suspension and expulsion. They'll also have to deal with charges from the sheriff's office. The district says they had gone several weeks at 5A with no significant problems. They also say one of those involved in yesterday's fight was a former student who was trespassing. Does she succeed in the school? Absolutely. A huge amount. But is it worth my child's life? No. The principal says today's controlled campus was done out of an abundance of caution to make sure there are no more fights. In Hudson, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.